Hi everyone, I am Priyanka and today our content is about studying in Germany, specifically in the best university of Germany, TUM. How is the study life here? What is the job scenario right now in mechatronics and robotics? Let's get started. We have a special guest here today. Please introduce yourself. Where are you from? What's your background in India and how did you land? In Germany. So hi, my name is Niket Lakhani. I've uh, been living in Germany for close to nine years now. So, I moved to Germany when I was 17. I'm from Noida. Mm -hmm. uh, I came here for my bachelor's, did my bachelor's at TU Darmstadt in mechanical engineering. And then for my master's, I subsequently moved to TU Munich mm -hmm. uh, for robotics and mechatronics. Currently, I'm working as a computer vision engineer at a startup mm -hmm. here in Munich itself. Great. What subjects did you study in your bachelor's and what did you do? Your master's. Um, so again, I knew that I wanted to go towards robotics. Mm -hmm. That was the biggest goal. But again, getting a bachelor's degree in robotics did not sound the most smartest decision at that point. So I chose to do mechanical engineering. Like mechanical oh, okay. engineering as a bachelor's course okay. here is pretty basic. You have mechanics, you have thermodynamics, you have same fluid dynamics, India. same yeah, as in, as in um, the courses in India. I'm not mm -hmm. sure how it is in India. But yeah, so then I quickly realized that, okay, I want to do more uh, computer heavy stuff. I want to go more towards tech. So during my bachelor thesis, I uh, decided to work on a project with uh, in AI, computer mm -hmm. vision. And that's how I basically developed my interest towards uh, robotics. And after my bachelor's, I was looking for to switch uh, cities also, just because I wanted a different experience. Mm -hmm. And TUM popped up uh, with the robotics and mechatronics course. And I applied there and I got, got That's it. That's wonderful. So how was the application process back then when you applied for bachelor's? And now when you applied for TUM, what, what has changed? So the thing which, which differentiates my uh, master's application from other people is that I am considered as a German. Basically, oh, so if I've done question. my bachelor's here, the process is extremely streamlined for me. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was pretty fluid. Um, I think I did not face any, any sort of issues, issues while applying. Um, I think I also directly got in. What is very important for the universities here, especially if you're doing bachelor's, is um, if the course that they covered in the bachelor's sort of makes sense for the master's course as well. Mm -hmm. So if there's a lot of overlap, then you don't end up... Um, need facing a lot of difficulties mm -hmm. more than the yeah, marks they, they prioritize the exactly strong, they right? prioritize the foundations more i know a few people in my course it's as well who came from india mm -hmm. and they had to do something called as auflager fascia mm -hmm. um it's like um so let's say your profile does not match 100 percent. maybe mm -hmm. it's like an 85 percent match mm -hmm. they still give you a conditional admission mm -hmm. you can start studying but in the first semester in the first two semesters you have to uh write a few bachelor exams and pass okay. them just so that they know that you're at that level okay, so that yeah Please so say. that again is not an issue if you have done your bachelor's from a reputed college here also um, you can face issues applying for a master's degree at mm -hmm. home if you've not done your bachelor's from a technical university if you from yeah. a Hochschule, then there can be a lot of issues because they do not recognize a lot of the subjects which okay. have been done there. So it's always better to choose like you. I think I've heard I mean, this point also for PhD. I think it makes, for PhD for sure, mm -hmm. uh, it makes a lot of sense to go in, uh, and choose TV. Mm -hmm. But I think it also depends on your... Um, uh, what are you thinking of doing later on in life? I mean, ah, like yeah. if you want to go more towards like a research specific role, then a team Use makes more sense. Yeah. Um, planning on becoming a software developer, front end, back end, full just stack. Work. It's a then job. A lot of times you can just go ahead and do a Hochschule. Hochschule well. yeah, it's because it's more easier. practical focused and exactly. easier. Exactly. Wonderful. Like most biggest problem that students facing right now is APS certificate. You have to pay 80 extra to get this certificate which says yes degree is uh, mm. valid and not a fake degree mm. so just for that you need to pay and that's causing so many issues right now because people have to defer their admissions mm. by one or two semester because the certificate does not come on time mm. so that's the biggest issue but good that you didn't face this mm. applying to universities in germany is not an easy process and if you're looking for guidance for this process from someone who has already done it or who's living here in Germany then you can definitely fill the form because I have a team of experts who can help you right from selecting universities making documents up to your visa process so that's going to make your process really easier especially for people who are working full-time or don't have time to give to this process because you have to continuously track your appointments track your application update all the documents according to these applications so feel free to fill the 
form in the description and my team will contact you regarding this process i'm really excited to bring this service to you and uh, i hope it's going to benefit you immensely in your process tell me more about the subjects that you studied and uh, did you do any part time jobs hmm. when you were here how did these subjects help you in those jobs so when i started my bachelor's um, i think the best thing about germany is the fact that you can work uh, part time part -time and you can earn like pretty decent money so i started working right uh, after my first semester of bachelor's i started working as a teaching assistant mm -hmm. those are like decent paying jobs yeah. they usually end up hiring you based on your grades in the first semester so if you're getting if you're in the top 10% there they usually end up getting a place there it's a good way to make money when i started uh, with my masters mm -hmm. then i started applying for like more companies and other stuff so i ended up working part time at the german aerospace center I was part of the robotics and mechatronics department mm -hmm. there i worked there one year as a working student uh, i was doing 15 hours a week which is like i think two days mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you make pretty good money through that as well yeah. and it's very easy to manage like studies and, with that as well and for students from india like it's not counted into visa days exactly that's max. extra yeah. that's that's extra yeah. Part. And then subsequently, because of my experience there, I also ended up getting a master thesis there. Oh, so I did my master thesis from there as well. And all of this experience actually helped me quite a lot to get um, my job, my current job. That's nice. So, what is your current job, and what did you do there? So currently, I'm working at a startup called Adbus Store. It's mm -hmm. a pretty new startup, and mm -hmm. they're basically they have an automated warehouse. Okay. That means uh, everything is being handled by robots. Wow! So the only thing you have to do is you have to just uh, put the product on the band, and it automatically gets sorted, detected, and uh, uh, stored. And as wow. soon as the information from the customer is coming that okay, I want to order this, mm -hmm. it automatically gets picked up and packaged. Oh, so and no delivered. human so involved. No, not a lot of humans Amazing. involved. Amazing. So process. are you programming these robots? So I am uh, part of the computer vision team there. Okay. So basically detecting what sort of product mm -hmm. it is, where it belongs, mm -hmm. uh, how the packaging of that product should be, okay. and. Uh, all that stuff. But you studied in two universities, both technical, TU Darmstadt as well as TU Munich. What's the difference in the cultures of the university that you experienced? Uh, the culture, there is a lot of difference, I, I think. Uh, but that also comes from the fact where in Germany you actually are. Mm -hmm. I think you also did it from the south of Germany, yeah. Bavaria. Bavarians in general don't have a nice reputation outside of Bavaria. Uh, and that is something that I also noticed like people are pretty different here as mm. compared to like other parts of Germany. Unfortunately, the whole of my master's was during Corona. Oh, uh, so okay. everything was locked down. I did most of my courses uh, at home. Mm. So I couldn't um, be like really a part of the TUM student culture, mm -hmm. the student life. Yeah, I think apart from that, the people are a little different, but uh, a lot of similarities, I would say. As Even well. in the stud study structure yeah. or exams. It's pretty yeah, similar. It's pretty similar. So if you've done your bachelor's from one of the, you shouldn't face like a lot of issues. What language uh, level did you study from India? So uh, from India, I, I had already done C2. C2. <laughs> Uh, oh my god i think only journalists would would know that level um, like it's really so, tough to pass that exam yeah but i was passionate about german from a very young age okay. uh thanks to my parents they put me for german classes when i was pretty young That's it wonderful. was easy for me That's to grasp great. the language and yeah. i knew that i would do something or the other with the language and do you think it's a good decision that you made coming to of, germany i think yeah of course i think it makes like if you're talking about bang for buck Mm -hmm. I ended up saving a lot of money. I mm -hmm. didn't. I wasn't heavily reliant on my parents, especially after I started working. So you can be self-reliant. The best thing is that you're not doing jobs. Um, you don't have to do jobs which do not contribute towards your own development. CV. Yeah. So the best part is that I never end up doing a job where I didn't feel like I was learning something which could be relevant for my future as well. Mm -hmm. So you're making money. You're also building your CV at the same time, and everything is free. So I don't see. The only drawback was the language. Mm -hmm. Is the language I think is still it. for a lot of people, and that was never the case for me. Yeah. So for me, it was always a no-brainer coming here. If I even if I compare to like US or Australia or even Hong Kong, Singapore, yeah. other places. So Germany is for those people who want to save money, are comfortable learning a new language, and maybe work in tech. For them, it's much easier. One burning question right now is regarding recession. So mm. there's economic slowdown going on. People are finding really tough to find jobs. So what's your take on that? How tough was it for you? If we minus the German language, <laughs> how's the market uh, right now? If you spoke to your friends and mm. peers, what are they? 
talking. Germany is trying to heavily invest in uh, people. Um, now I think they also re- reduce the time limit to getting the German citizenship as yeah. well. So it does point towards the direction that Germany is actually in need of a lot of skilled workers. Mm-hmm. So the recession thing does make sense. Let's say if you're in roles which are not vital, but mm-hmm. uh, especially tech roles and roles where you need a lot of education, those roles as like every day a couple of like a, a couple dozen jobs are popping up mm-hmm. in those fields. I keep looking for just going through that as well just to see what the market what is like. What market is like? What but technology is it coming? Exactly. Like, is it relevant to my studies? What of I course. did? Yeah. That's um, a so I would say that no. Um, it's not that bad here mm-hmm. till now. Um, especially like my friends as well. My, most of them did not face any issues getting Were a they job. T- good in German language like you? A uh, lot of them not. Okay. Uh, few of them yes. Okay. So there are also like two sorts of like some companies are willing to accept you. Let's say if you don't have the technical part of it, but you can socially can communicate in German language. Mm-hmm. That helps team building. That helps like connection. Um, yeah, I I noticed that like whatever interviews I gave. The first point is they want to judge you as a person. Hmm. What's your personality? How do you talk? Do you gel with other people? How do you work in stress situations? Are you a team player? Hmm. So they judge this more than what I can do technically. Hmm. So they ask like if I know this technology really late in the interview hmm. compared to in the start. They're more hmm. interested about knowing me as a person hmm. if I fit in their culture. So I think that that makes yeah. a lot of sense. And too. I think the way German companies usually approach employees is also very different from like a lot of uh, US based companies Mm -hmm. like they here they really like to invest in people and they are not very keen on letting people go very easily I mean of course this can change depending on like probably if you like a startup or not Mm -hmm. but other companies if they've spent like those four five six months training you a lot of times they also want to keep you uh, yeah and also it's tough to fire here like especially in big firms so that's also Mm -hmm. one point great that that was wonderful uh, thank you, Niket, for all the information okay. that you gave. And uh, I hope it's going to be useful for all the people who are coming to Germany or planning to come, especially in the computer vision field. Thank you for watching this vlog. And uh, I hope this has helped you. If you have any questions, please post it in the comments and I'll be happy to reply. And see you in my next vlog. Bye-bye.